Hello everybody, Marlene, aka Snow Gardener 307. We've got a few things to do today, but the first thing we've got to do is we need to go ahead and catch up on our money diaries. We have two weeks of August that we did not account for, so go ahead and come along so you can see what we spent, because if you're like me, I'm nosy. I want to know what everybody spends. We're also going to clean out my wallet to see what money I have left, and we've got some happy mail, and you guys know we're going to do some savings challenges. So let's go ahead and hop into this. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good Here we are, you guys, for week, I guess it's three and a half because we had a half week at the beginning of August. So we are here to check in from the 19th all the way through the 31st. We're gonna go through this fairly quickly. Um, I do have a couple items that are crossed off here. It's because they were recorded the previous week. Um, you guys know how it is. Sometimes when you charge stuff, it shows as pending on the day you buy it and it doesn't go through until after the weekend. That's what happened with both of these. So I crossed those off. So let's go ahead and start off. Of course, you guys know I love my chai tea. So on Monday, I got a chai tea. I went and did some grocery shopping for $31.85 and also $17.67. Um, I had two different amounts um, because I had to buy some food for a gathering this day here. On Monday, this is the day that I lost my friend. So you're going to see that it reflects the next week. Um, and so went back, got vegetables, got things like that. And then I also had a Vistaprint order for Snow Gardener 307 for $71.13. We had a YouTube subscription for $9.99. Tuesday was no spend. Wednesday, I put a no spend because this is just a subscription that came out for $9.99. Again, SG307. So no spend on Wednesday, no spend on Thursday. Friday, I took the dogs to get groomed and that was $170 for all three of them. And I got myself another chai tea. I feel like I've been living on chai teas lately. Probably the sugar. <laughs> bringing that mood up a little bit. Saturday was a no spend. On Sunday, I went to the store again um, because I had another gathering with some friends. And so it was $53.32 for some food. We had a YouTube subscription for Snow Gardener 307 for $9.99. So you can see here, I crossed this out right here. The grand total for the week was $385.14. That is very cheap for me. No spends are 13 so far. Snow Gardener 307, 101.30. Personal, 283.84. Let's go ahead and roll on over to the next week. And this is the end of August right here. You can see on Monday, I had a no spend. On Tuesday, I went and got a car wash for $23. Um, I had um, $324 charge for a legal stuff. This is for work. And Epson right here, this is my subscription for $41.59. So that's SG307. On Wednesday, I went out with my friends. We went out to the golf course. I almost couldn't say golf. Golf course? I went out to the golf course. And the restaurant there is Mallard's. And so us ladies went out to eat. I spent $17.56. My eyelashes got done for $75. Canva, another subscription, um, $13.51. And I decided to buy myself a movie or a series that I wanted to watch. That was $20.79. That came out of my money. No spend on Saturday. And of course, Sunday, uh, that was September. So no spends for the month, 17. That's really good. $515.45 for our spending. And of course, 324 of that's for that work related thing. Snow Gardener 307, 5510, personal 46035. Let's go ahead and scooch on over to our monthly totals. This is where it all breaks down. And I just realized you guys, I forgot to add everything up. So we'll do that together at the end here because we don't have a total. We don't have a total no spends. I forgot to complete. So for monthly totals for the business, we had YouTube subscriptions for $65.92, regular subscriptions $55.10, supplies $1,356.94, Etsy expenditures or purchases, I should say, $153.07, miscellaneous $155.08. We got that laptop computer, $1,445.59. And then for personal home, we spent $206.59, food only $227.91. That's amazing. Pets, $1,033.42. That's not amazing. Personal care, $1,199.53. That's not amazing. Car, $167.42. Me, $100.79. So I actually went over by $0.79 cents on my personal spending. Travel, $2,041.09. Subscriptions, $238.68. And miscellaneous spending, $383.25. And then, of course, like I said, I didn't fill out the total spending or the no spends yet. And then we've got some extras right here. Wow, it says. And this is our travel. We're going to be going to uh, Mexico in November. 
And so, of course, we have got the trip spending for 2041.09. And then we also have the kitty robot, right? The litter robot for 838 and the laptop for 1149.59. I have 39.59 up here. Who knows? One of them's wrong, but I don't know which one. So that was a lot of extra spending. So let's take Mr. Cassio, go all the way to the beginning, and let's see how much we spent. So we've got 749. And then we've got 17, 20, 41. Ooh, I'm afraid to see this number, you guys. Oh my goodness. Right here, you guys. Right here. This is where it hurts. 5,463.61. Hoo, hoo, hoo. But you guys know that all of this has been paid for. None of it is sitting on credit cards, just so you guys know. And then, thank goodness, 385.14. Whew, that's a little bit better. And the last week, not too shabby, um, 515.45. So, you guys, oh my goodness, for the month, we spent 8,833.61. That is unbelievable. No spins were 17. We knew that that was going to be expensive because of all of these extras right here. If we take this 883361 and we subtract out the extras, it's still going to be high, but not as high. So let's see, what is it without these extras here? All right, so it would be 4509 which is still a lot of money. But when you look at how much um, I spend for my business as well, tells you a little bit more about that. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and do some savings challenges. But, well, actually, we need to clean out my wallet first. Let me go ahead and turn this over to saving challenges and put it aside. And let's go ahead and clean out my wallet and see what we've got left in here. So these are my little tabs right here. So in food, you guys, I took all of the food money out of here and put it towards the credit card. The rest of the food that was left, the money went to finish paying off for the vacation for all of the little bit of things and stuff. And I'm so excited to use these new envelopes. And then for car, we have got $60 left in car. And what we're going to do with that money is, let me go ahead and grab out the right binder. Any money that I have left over in my car um, sinking fund goes into my auto right here. This is how I save for bigger items such as tires, as oil changes, things like that. So you can see we've got quite a bit sitting in here and I will probably get some money to the bank out of this. I'll probably grab another hundred and send it to the bank, but not right now. So that's how that money goes. And then me, you guys know I didn't have any money left. I used all of my pay it forward money. We've got fun and miscellaneous. We've got $60. I'm going to leave that in there. We're going to let that roll on over. And then we've got home. And you guys, I did have home expenditures, but I paid for them a different way. So we've got $100 still in the home category. So we're going to go ahead and take this and put this into our home sinking fund. So we'll go ahead and put that in here. And again, this might go to the bank. We'll see. I'll just put it right in front for right now. And then the last thing there is the bank tab. And of course, this is when I spend money out of here on a credit card and it needs to go back to the bank. Uh, that's where that is right there. So we are going to go ahead and put this back in my wallet. Nope, it was this side. You'd think I didn't know how to use my own wallet. So there is that. It is empty now for me to fill up coming up on one of the next videos. Um, I got so far behind with everything going on in life that I still need to do a Mr. Snow Gardener's budget, which you'll see next. And then after that, you'll see my budget. But just know they're being filmed on the same day. <laughs> but you guys aren't going to see them on the same day. All right, so let me go ahead and do Happy Mail really quick before we get into savings challenges. I am going to go ahead and move this money, though, because this right here was sitting on top of the Happy Mail. We have got two pieces of Happy Mail. Um, one is a membership perk and one is an order. So the first membership perk is from my friend Tracy. And so I just opened one of these on the last ones. That tells you how far behind on my Happy Mail I was. So Golden Girl Budgets right here. And of course, it's got all of her things and stuff right here. So we've got a $50 savings challenge and it's pumpkin spice and everything nice. I am a pumpkin girl. I don't like coffee though. So I'm not drinking pumpkin spice coffee, but I have had a pumpkin chai and it is delicious. Next is an order from my friend Danny. 
over at Craft Co. Budgets. So let's go ahead and open this on up. I was so excited to see this at the post office today. Let's see what we've got here. Yay! Oh my goodness, what is in here? Let's see. I don't remember what I ordered. So let's go ahead and put all of this here. She did include my little order thing. So I got these right here. Cute and creepy Halloween cupcake scratch-offs. Um, if you are brand new to my channel, then you don't know, but my daughter's birthday is on Halloween. She's going to be 22 this year. So we are very partial to Halloween things. Oh my goodness. These are so dang cute. So we've got scratch offs. Look at that cupcake. Oh my goodness. These are so fun. Now I was trying to decide whether I was going to give them to Julia for her birthday, if she would actually use them or if I wanted to keep them for myself because they are so cute. I love them. I love them. I love them. Oh my goodness, Danny. These, these are just amazing. So there is that. So I did purchase that right there. And I think those are the ones that I ordered. And then I also ordered Christmas uh, cupcakes because I love me some Christmas cupcakes. Here are the Christmas cupcakes right here. So let's go ahead and open these up. Oh, yay. These come with a dashboard. Maybe I ordered it with a dashboard. I don't know. Maybe the dashboard for the Halloween one is in here. I don't know. The Halloween one, it says, is supposed to have a dashboard too, I believe. But your guess is as good as mine. Oh, my goodness. Look at these. These are just so pretty. And you guys know that I'm Christmas crazy. So cute little cupcakes. Christmas crazy in this house. So we've got all of these fun things along with the dashboard. Save $200 amounts 1 to 10. And I'll have to ask Danny about the other dashboard. Maybe it doesn't come with a dashboard. I don't know. Okay, and then I also got Christmas scratch-offs. Because like I said, you guys know me. I am Christmas crazy. Let me put my cupcakes here in my little bag. Oh, look at how cute. I love it. <laughs> Simple things, right? Simple things keep me happy. So these right here are the Christmas, and these are funny Christmas scratch-offs, and I did all three. And so here's a scratch and save. Used correctly, a budget doesn't restrict you, it empowers you. Ooh, I like that, Danny. So this is Craft Co. Budgets right here. She is an Aussie that lives in America. Um, and so yay, yay, yay. Love her channel, love her creativity. Okay, these ones, grab your balls, it's Christmas. <laughs> I don't know why I find stuff like that so much funny. So much funny, so funny. Let's get lit, one to five dollars. And out here, looking like a snack, another $50, one to five. And then I'm sure this is just a freebie right here. Hello, fall, say $40, $2, and you can just cross those off. All right, Danny, loving those, loving, loving, loving those. I gotta find a place to put them. All right. And then she mentioned that she was going to send this to me. So these are a freebie from Danny. She is absolutely amazing. Let's take a look at these Christmas scratch offs. Um, I believe these are a newer product of hers. Oh my goodness. These are so cute, 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 cute. Look at the little gingerbread in the cup. So this one is $50, two to six. This one, oh, look at that cute little coffee cup. And that's another $50 one, two to six. Ew, these cups are so cute. $50, one to five. And we've got another $50 one, one to five. And then you guys, we have the Christmas tree. $100, one to 10. Oh, Danny, thank you so much for spoiling me. I appreciate you more than you know. And so let me show you guys something really, really quick. So we are going to be using our September binder. If you didn't watch my last video with the Happy Mail, um, Janelle Ray Budgets, her birthday is this month. So she did something extra for the month. And so she did 12 envelopes in her binder this time. However, you guys know that I've got my two envelopes at the back. So I pulled out two challenges out of the binder. So if you look at this binder, just know that it comes with these two scratch offs as well. I think what I might do is maybe I'll put this into my next month and run another 12 month one um, because I wanted to make sure that I could still use my last two how I've been doing all year long. So we are gonna get into the September binder today, 
But of course, all we did last time was the um, August binder to finish it out. So we're going to do all the things and stuff today, you guys. This is the rest of our August money right here. I don't know how much is here. We are just going to get it all stuffed into our savings challenges. Yes, yes, yes. We have got a few dollars. One I got as receipt from a chai tea and three I received from a friend. So thank you so much for sending me some A-Bucks. I am grabbing out the rest of our binders here because I'm not prepared. I know this shocks you guys. I'm not prepared. Let me make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. So we've got some savings challenge books there. We're going to need this savings challenge book right here because that's where this money for this binder goes. Can you guys see all the money and stuff? There's Miss Georgette. There's Fred Jr. Fred Jr. Poor Fred Jr. doesn't get enough camera time. Georgette hogs it all. All right, now I need to scratch off token. We're going to scratch off one of these. And this is for books, you guys. This is one of my savings challenges. I'm so excited to have more money to spend on books because that's one of the things that I love. So we've got $6 today, you guys, going into my book fund. And you guys, I did just pay for my Audible subscription. That was part of that check-in right there. So my Audible subscription is already paid for, which means I've got all kinds of credits. So I shouldn't need this money right away. But hey, you never know. I might need to go buy some actual books, right, you guys? Some actual books. And then, you guys, we have got a, a brand new sheet of Shut the Box. Well, I guess it's not brand new. Oh, okay. I was like, there's no money in there. That's because we did one round. So we need pink and purple. So we've got purple, we've got pink, and we are gonna do that pink is what we roll, purple is what we owe. All right, so we've got our little dice tower right here. We're gonna use these black and white dice because I know that they are easy for you guys to see. We are gonna do two rounds of Shut the Box today. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, we got 11, we like that. So eight and three. And we got another eight, so we're gonna go ahead and do seven and one. And we got seven, what is this? Why does it keep doing this to me? Five and two, I know why you guys haven't said, no whammies, no whammies, big bucks, big bucks. How about a six, that'll work. So you guys, we have a nine and a four left. So come on, how about a nine? How about a six? Okay, so we're gonna owe $13 for that one, not too shabby. 10, 11, 12, and 13. And this one is going to go to debt, you guys, until we don't need it anymore. Then this is going to emergency fund because we need to stack the emergency fund to the rafters. We're still waiting for the rest of the storm to hit, you guys. We're still waiting. All right, nine. Woohoo. All right, no whammies, no whammies. Big bucks. We got a seven. And we got an eight. All right, all right. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. How about a six? No whammies. How about an eight? So we'll go ahead and do a five and a three. This means, you guys, that we have four, two, and one left. And we got a seven, which if we weren't following the rules right here, but we were following the actual shut the box, we would be shutting the box. But according to Reinventing Renee, AKA Budget Nerd Co., you cannot use three numbers. So this is her game. We're gonna follow the rules this time. So four plus two plus one equals seven. I know you guys are like, uh, Marlene, you break the rules all the time. I know, I know. But for this game right here, this is one that I've actually been playing by the rules. I know it's hard to believe, but every now and then I stick to the rules. Next, we're going to go ahead and do save 2024 in 2024. And you guys, we're not using a dice anymore because we are just about done with this right here. So we're going to go ahead and just pick a couple boxes. We're going to do this one right here for $18. So let's go ahead and grab out 18, 10, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And I feel like we need to do the spiciest one on the challenge left, and that is 24. So $24 going into emergency fund. So 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And actually, let's go ahead and swap this out. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. Adding 30, what, 30, $42 in. 
Now, you guys, um, you know I love to keep money in the bank. I feel like we just put money in the bank, but I don't know. Let's take a look and see what we've got here for actual cash. Actual cash. Let's see. I don't feel like we've got enough to put into the bank. Nope. We just did a bank trip for that money. So we're just going to put this money in here and we're going to keep on inching closer to that 2024. And you guys, just in case you didn't know, in case you missed my Happy Mail video, we've got 2025. That's right, you guys, right here. So we are going to be saving 2025 and 2025. As soon as we're done with this one, we're starting 2025. I don't care if it's not 2025 yet or not, um, because it's my saving challenges and I can do whatever I want because <laughs> that's just how I roll. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and move this off to the side because we are done with those savings challenges. We are starting a, a new month in the life of a pig who wants to save, but loves to spend. We are going to actually change this to be emergency fund. Um, because we're getting closer to getting that debt paid off. And so we're going to go ahead and roll on over to September. Where are you, September? Look at all these amazing challenges that we have done. Here we go. Relax and have fun, guy. This is a baby challenge, you guys. This is $25 um, with a bonus. And so you know what we're going to do? Today, we're going to double whatever we scratch off. So let's see what we've got here. So we've got $5. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and double that. We're going to go ahead and put $10. And you guys, you know I'm going to forget by the time I film the next time that I said this was emergency fund. So let's go ahead and grab out the sticky notes. I should have had these out already, but no, I forgot. So we're going to go ahead and put a sticky note on here just because Georgette so far has been debt. And so we're going to go ahead and put, I don't want it to be... I guess it doesn't matter if it's over the little saying. So we're going to go ahead and just put emergency fund right there. We have got to get this emergency fund going on up and get it where we need to be. All right, you guys, then on the back, what do we have back here? We've got some coloring. And so we're going to go ahead and do one of these mushrooms right here. $4 for this mushroom right here. So I'm just going to color in one mushroom. And it may not be the best coloring that you've ever seen in your life, so don't look too close. We're going to just use a colored pencils on this one. Even though I do wonder if my brand new markers would look amazing on this. I have a feeling they would look amazing. But we already picked the colored pencils, so we're going to stick with it. So four buckaroos for that one, you guys. One, two, three, and four. Going into the life of a pig. All right, you guys. So emergency fund for both sides is what we're doing. That's a $45 challenge. This is a 25, but we're doubling. I'm going to put that on here. Double front. The back, we'll leave it for now. Oh my gosh, you guys. I just wrote on myself twice. Not once, but twice when I was trying to close that pin. Whew. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. All right. So we have got Miss Georgette, collect memories, not things. We need our D12 and we need our heads or tails. And this is going to Australia. We are working on getting that money filled up again to go to Australia. Super sad that we're not able to go this year, but hey, life happens. Sometimes those storm hits, those storms hit and you can't do anything about it. So we have got seven. And we have got heads. So what are we doing here? Oh, we are doing Germany. So I don't speak German, but this says Das Best oder Nietzsche's. The best or nothing. And this is a $50 challenge right here. We're going to go ahead and scratch one of these right here. Oh my goodness, $1. I feel like we should scratch two. Don't you guys think? I mean, $1. $1 is nothing. Let's scratch this one too. There we go. One and nine equals 10 bucks. And just in case you guys didn't know, all of the denominations in this book are single amounts. And this book is available, you guys, but the original one is not available because it is retired. That's right. The OG book is retired. And a lot of people keep asking me, it's not coming back, you guys. It is retired. Um, I don't know if we're going to do something with a remake of it where we change some things up. 
It's not in the plans. I can tell you guys that. Not in the plans. All right. So now we have got a Life's a Beach. And what are we working on Life's a Beach? Oh, that's right. Under the sea. Under the sea. What do we have left? We've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. Okay, you guys, I did this last time and I liked it. Um, we are going to go ahead and use this three-sided dice right here to decide how many to scratch off. Uh, let's see. We're going to scratch off three. So let's see what we've got. So we've got $4, $3, so seven plus five. So $12 is going to Life's a Beach. And this is going to debt still, you guys. So 5, 10, 11, and 12, because what's more life's a beach than debt, right? <laughs> debt is one of those things. Just one of those things. And we have got our poppet, and we're going to use that same dice again, you guys. Oh my goodness, I can't open my book. There we go. We are drinking fun single digit mystery challenge one to five. So let's go ahead and see. How about one? That's all we're scratching today. And one dollar. <sighs> I want to scratch another one, you guys, but we rolled the dice. And, you know, what What if I, oh, I accidentally, oh, look at that. Accidentally, that just happened accidentally. <laughs> and then it's only two dollars, you guys, only two dollars. But hey, every dollar adds up. Let's add this into the poppet here. Um, if you are seeing the dashboards and such here, just so you guys know, these are all available for free on my co fee. That is what I was told how it was pronounced. Um, everything on my Kofi is free. Um, I am hoping to start putting up a free challenge every single month, but this month was a little spicy so far. Well, last month was a little spicy so far and spicy period. Not so far. It's over. It was a little spicy. So I didn't get things done that I wanted to get done, but I know you guys understand that. Let's go ahead and get these bucks put in here. Uh, oh, that's right. I'm like, what did we have here? Why is this there. We're taking that out. I don't know what that was for. I don't remember. We've got three Australia bucks. Thank you, friend. You know who you are. You know who you are. All right. So we are using, I think that's orange. Is that orange or is that yellow? Oh, goodness, you guys. I don't know what color that is. I don't want to mess it up. Is that yellow? I think that might be yellow. We're going to, we're going to try yellow. Ooh, let's see if it's the right one. One, two, and three. Oh, Okay, three more dollars. I'm going in the A bucks for Australia. Do, do, do. Okay, and then I got a G buck while I was out and about ordering chai teas and such. And so let's see. Oh, we're using dark blue now on this one. Blue. Blue it is. So one more G buck. I love being able to use these dot markers for these trackers right here because look at how many times you can use them. I hate cleaning things off. Just so you guys know, that is like torture for me. That's why I designed a different way to do things. Because if you don't like something, don't do it that way. All right, you guys, here we are. The September binder. This is brand new. So it doesn't look like we're going to be able to make any debt payments today, but it's okay. You guys, it's okay. Um, and if we start filling this binder for debt and then we get the debt paid off, then this binder is going to change over. I don't know for sure if it's all going to be for the same thing or not. Haven't thought that far ahead, but let's go ahead and grab that D12 and the heads are 12, heads are 12s. The heads are 12s, you guys. <laughs> the heads are tails and we've got quite a bit here. We've got lots of fives and lots of ones. So let's get started. All right. We got 10 and tails all the way back to 10. This is a happy birthday challenge right here. Let's go ahead and scratch this off. It says roll times two. Wow. Starting off with a bonus there. Probably going to be a little spicy. And I didn't do a very good job vacuuming. So let's go ahead and scrape that on off. All right, you guys. Obviously, I'm not rolling a D12 because I'm not that much of a glutton for punishment. We got a two. So that's going to be $4. One, two, three, and four. I swear, you guys, I can count. I know sometimes you guys wonder, but I really can and we've got eight and heads. Oh, it's these cute mice right here. Let's go ahead and scratch this one. Woo, spicy, $8, $8, $8, five, six, seven, and eight. 
and we got a six and heads. Ooh, fall basics. Let's scratch one, shall we? I need to grab, ow, I just hit my funny bone. We need to grab a Sharpie. Ouch, my elbow hurts. <laughs> that funny bone, you guys, I tell you what. I tell you what, let's go ahead and scratch, or not scratch, let's go ahead and roll. So four buckaroos for that one. Whew, hate hitting my elbow. Four dollars there. All right, we got an eight and heads. We need to roll 11 and 12. That's going to be harder, I think. I think it's harder to roll 11 and 12. I hope we get some because those are the fun things back there. Six dollars. Six dollars. Five and six. And, oh, ten and tails. Ten and tails. All right, we're going to roll. And we got six. Six, six, six dollars. Five and six. Okay, we need 11 or 12. Come on. We want to be able to go date night. Not that Mr. Snow Gardener seems like he's ever home in time to do date night. And just so you guys know, we do not have a movie theater in our town. We do have a movie theater in our county. But it is, how far is that? 30, 35 miles or so? I don't want to drive that far for a movie because I'm a baby. Oh, one dollar is all we're doing into that one. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at more marker on my hand. Oh my goodness. And that one was the Sharpie. So it's staying. It ain't going nowhere. Now you guys get to see black all over my hands. Here, 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 here. <laughs> hot mess, you guys, hot mess. And we've got four and tails. Four and tails. I love these ones that are pictures. I think they're so awesome. We got six buckaroos going into number four. Six dollars, five and six. So you guys, for this binder, since debt is getting almost paid off, um, I am thinking uh, emergency fund, obviously, but I can't decide if I want to do all of them the same. You know, like, do I want the whole thing to be emergency fund? Or do you think I should spice it up and have some other goals in there too? All right, this is another $5 piece of popcorn. We're going to go ahead and put that. Now, once since we've stuffed this, remember, if we roll 11 again, we can't stuff it again. 11 only gets one roll, so does 12, but we need 12 for our CD ladder. Now, somebody asked me, I saw a comment. You guys, I am so sorry. I am so far behind on comments. Even if I don't respond, I do read them, you guys, and I promise I will respond. That's one thing I take pride in, but I saw somebody asked about my CD ladder. The person asked if I buy a CD every month. Do I buy six month ones, 18 month? Do I look at the rates, stuff like that? I buy a CD every single month. I try to do it on the first, but today's the third and I just barely bought the September one because I forgot on the first. Um, I'm doing it all at the same bank just to make my life easier. And I do 12 month. The reason why I do this is then it's a true ladder. This means because of course you have to wait 12 months to take your money out of a CD or else you get penalized. We don't want any penalties. So what this means is every single month I have money available through a CD if I need to utilize it. So that is why I do that. One, two, three, and four. And I learned that from Debt Free Jesse. She's got some amazing videos on the CD ladder. So if you want to take a look, I did notice you guys when I bought September's, um, I've got mine through Capital One. This is not a plug. It's just where I have mine. Um, they have been at 5%. 5% is what all of the ones that I've been buying at least the past six months have been. Today, it was 4.5%. So it is going down, but 4.5%, still pretty good for money that is sitting there, right? Not readily available, but I can get to it if I need to. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and go again. We got seven and tails this time. So seven and tails is a roll and save. And we got four, so we'll go ahead and save $4. And then seven, good, seven does have a one, so we're gonna go ahead and take one of those fives. And we need a 12. Okay, how about a nine and heads? Nine and heads, so that's $5. So we're gonna go ahead and put $5 in there. This money got put in the wrong spot because, what did I do, you guys? Okay, that money's all right. That was a nine. Where did this $4 go? 
went right there. That's where it goes. Okay. Phew. Good thing I saw that, you guys. Good thing, good thing. And we've got five and heads. I love watercolors. If you guys haven't noticed, this is my watercolor tattoo for my mom. Um, I am getting ready to um, get my next tattoo and you guys will be able to see it. Oh goodness, that one is upside down and it says $3. Now, let me show you guys why it's upside down. I did not change this, but I'll tell you what happened. The way that Janelle designs her binders is she makes it so as you're going through the binder, the back side when you flip it is right side up. So I'm going to flip this one and I'm going to put this here because I bet this is the front side. And of course, I don't care if something happened and there was a mistake in this binder, I am not worried about it because guess what? I can still read upside down and we're all human and we all make mistakes. And you know, if it's right the right way, then all it was was putting that in the wrong direction. So this is what I'm talking about, you guys, right here. So see how you can see that three and nice and big now. All right, we've got nine and heads, and nine and heads. So that's another five dollars. And I just like crossing these off. I'm not going to move that little clip right there. So making a baby X works out just fine. Okay, we need twelve. 11 or 12, because if it's 11, then I can pick 12. 11 or 12, that's not what, one and heads, that's not what I needed. Not what I needed at all. So September, um, for those of you guys born in September, morning glory is your flower. Happy September birthday to you if you have a September birthday. $3 there. Yes, 12. I didn't know if we were gonna roll a 12 or not. And this is for, this is gonna be for October CD. So I love this savings challenge from Laura. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything is fine. You guys know I love me some fluffy cows. And yes, I know they're Highland cows. So many people take offense when I call them fluffy cows. My goodness. But they are. They're so fluffy. Um, we have a person here. Well, we've got more than one because, of course, I live in Wyoming where there's cattle all over the place. Did I just scratch the eight? I think so. I hope so. That's what's going in there. Um, but we have one just outside of our town and uh, they have got Highland cows. And I just love uh, looking at the babies when they have the babies. They're so cute. All right, you guys, 10 and heads. 10 and heads. So that's a roll and save for the birthday. $1. One whopping dollar. My cat is in here chewing on things. I have got some stuff on the floor that they just like chewing on the sticky um, cellophane paper, right? From opening that Happy Mail. She's in here chewing on that already. Scares me to death because, of course, I don't want anything to happen to them. Six and heads. We're going to go ahead and scratch one if I could decide what I'm doing here. So $3 for that one. $3. One two and three. We are getting a great start on our September binder today. We've got eight and tails. I say we roll one. Well, let's roll. Oh, we got a five. Go ahead and put that in there. Five dollars. And we got an 11 and tails. What that means is I get to pick one because we can't do 11 again. So we're going to go ahead and roll again on the same one. Five dollars again. $5, $5. Normally when I get towards finishing challenges, they then I pick those. But of course, we're here for the first day, so they all need lots of things. Eight and heads. Let's go ahead and move our um, paper clip really quick and scratch this one so that it's done. And then we won't have to worry about it for the rest of the month. Five more dollars. Eight is getting all kinds of money. Five more buckaroos. And we've got one and heads back to September. Let's scratch this one right here. Two dollars. One and two. And we're running out of ones. Ooh, throwing things all around. One, two, three, four, and five. Since we were right there, might as well switch it out since I knew that money was there. But Marlene did something wrong because there should only be five there. So we're going to pretend like I didn't have six there. Three plus two. Oh. No, we were supposed to have six. Okay. Whew. I just told you guys I could count. And then I was doubting myself. Five and heads. All right, you guys. 
This will be the tail tail to see if it was just switched around. It sure was. You guys look at that. Seven right there. Seven. And seven plus three is ten. So let's grab two fives. And we're not going to be able to change this binder out. Oh, yeah, we are. We're going to find some change. All right, so we're 12 and tails. We're going to stay on this number five right here. I was thinking we weren't going to be able to change it out because of the cash, right? We're all done with the cash from September, but your girl, or cash from August, but your girl has got the September cash already. So we'll go ahead and get these swapped out at the end. We missed it on the last one, and I missed doing it. We got four entails, so four entails is right here. Scratch right here on the bridge, three dollars. So we've got one, two, and three going there. And we've got two in heads. Ooh, let's roll. Let's roll, let's roll. One dollar, one buckaroo. Four in heads. Okay. We're going to go right in the middle just because it's easy. Four dollars, even though we probably should have done that one. But hey. All right, you guys. So I'm going to take one of these dollars from four. Yes, yes. And take this five and put it there. And we've got four in heads again. Well, I just said I should have done that. So here we go. Get it done. So seven dollars. Perfect. Put this back on there. Five, six, and seven. And what do we have left, you guys? Oh, we've got $13, so we're so good for a little bit. We got four in heads. Wow, four really wants us to finish out. Oh, $10! Holy moly! That was a shock there, you guys. That was a spicy one. Hey, I'm glad we got that now because we have $10. And we have got $3. We're going to put that all the way to the back to our catch-all. Number 12 is our catch-all. I don't want to have an IOU, so I'm going to put that right there. All right, you guys, that's it for me today. We are going to go ahead and, of course, change out this money. But I do want to say a goodbye for now. Thank you for joining me. And until I see you guys next time, remember to keep on smiling. Bye, everybody. Step one. Wake up, really gon' rise with the sun Step two, get some good, some food in you Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing Wake up, today's gonna be a good day 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 Wake up Today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Life ain't easy, y'all. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo Negative thoughts are poison, they ride, uh. Head full of flaws, so here come the clouds, uh. They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost, uh. Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaken, I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation I know that I like to do it cause it's sensation I live my life in my head like a narration Don't expect